You have interfered with our affairs. Come yeah, yeah. Ch -ch check, mic check, one, two. Straight from the underground type shit. When I write shit, yeah, type shit. Hey, yo. Behind the mic or on the NPC is where you find them. Fucking waste of life, you should have died in a condom. 17 days, your whole shit beyond two weeks. I grip the mic and blow the spot like plastic. The bomb atomically, the lyrical anomaly. Bitch, I'm on one. Yeah, you fucking with the wrong one. I wrote this shit backstage in an arena. Pepper Jordan sipping Pellegrina, never Aquafina. Been through a lot of pain, yeah, that's where the Gina. I grip the mic like a machete. Fuck. Grip the mic like a machete. Get ready, don't do me petty. Or I do you like Bruce Willis in that boy's head. Feeling arrogant. All up in your system like heroin. It's easy. No my beast pumping like. Bingo. It's crazy right out there. Nice coming here. It's so nice. So chill. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of set up a tarp yesterday. So it's pretty nice. It's relaxing. Just chilling in my fucking shitty slider. <laughs> the meat is like. Ugh. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for setting this tent up. You can call it a tent, it's like a tarp tent. I have the ridge line going. Yeah, I fixed the tarp last, uh, today, you know what I'm saying? Because I ripped it a few days ago. I, did I rip it yesterday, actually? I don't know. Basically, I was pulling, and I didn't realize that, like, the knot wasn't moving, and it fucking pulled it and ripped it. Oh, what the fuck is that noise? That's just the tarp fucking broke, of all things. Barely though, just, just barely. And uh, so I just, I was gonna buy a new tarp. I got this tarp from Dollarama and I'm gonna go camping. So I figured I'd bring a tarp. Not camping, but I'm gonna go to a trailer. Camping. <laughs> I've been camping before, okay? I know what camping, I know what real camping actually is. I actually went canoeing. Um, canoeing and then we camped out on this island it's pretty fun um yeah that was really fun actually it was a really tiny island we got to uh this island and i learned how to canoe and then we, we slept there and there i had this tick on me so the lady was like the girl the woman the lady she was like she's like yo if anyone check if you have any ticks i was like oh, i'm good i don't have i don't get ticks you know i don't get ticks and I, I felt something on my leg and my arm, and basically it was this fucking tick under my shorts. And I was like, oh my god, I got a tick. This is like me, like, I don't know, grade 10. I was like, oh god, there's a tick on me. Uh, yeah, uh, you want to get this stuff off? And then I'm like, she's like, okay. She, she Then she starts coming to the tent. And uh, I was in my tent. It was like 1, 12 at night uh, in the morning. Um, and we're just chilling. And she comes to get the tick off. And I hear the buzzing, the buzzing of mosquitoes. At least five million mosquitoes outside. At least five to four million mosquitoes outside of my tent, dude. And I heard them. I heard them buzzing. It was that loud. Not. I heard. Everywhere. Outside of my netting. And they were just sitting on the fucking. Oh my god. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, you know what? Uh. I I'm fine. You don't need to come get me. I'm good. The tick's fine. It's not gonna. Like, I'm, I'll be good. Like I don't care if I get Lyme disease. Just leave me alone. Don't open that freaking door. She comes in. And we have to get it out because it could have Lyme disease. And you know, it just could be like we have to get this thing out. So I'm like, oh my god, no, please, please, please. I do not want you to open. I have this. I have had this fear of mosquitoes. Not bad now. Okay, not nearly as bad. Like not. Everyone has something that like they, that messed them up during their childhood that they still somewhat hate, but it's obviously not that bad. Some people have it like so some some people are deathly scared of spiders, but they'll just ball their eyes out and cry and run away. Mine was mosquitoes in my ear because when I was younger, I'll get back to the story. Don't worry. But when I was younger, a mosquito flew into my ear. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I heard the buzzing for three days. Uh, I don't know if I was just young and very like scared that I thought I was hearing it, but I, we went to the doctor and <laughs> we even went to the doctor, okay, to check down my ear. I don't think that's why we went to the doctor. <clears throat> we went to my doctor, family doctor, and he checked me up, and then 
he just checked on my ear as well. He's like, nope, no mosquito. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kept hearing a, a buzzing in my ear. And you can see me just getting flashbacks right now. But it was, it was, it was scary, okay? It was fucking terrifying. You sleep at night and you hear a buzzing in your ear next to your fucking brain. Do you know how terrifying that is? Like, outside is fucking annoying as it is. But in your head, and you can't, that is fucked up. Basically, fuck off. I really don't know if it was a mosquito to this day. Maybe it was like a really tiny bug and I could just, it, it, it's flying like amplified through my ear. So why it stayed in my ear for like two days, three days? I don't know. It felt like weeks though. Like, it might not even have been two days. It could have just been, or three days. It could have just been like a, like two days. And I could have just been over exaggerating it. And that's the way I remember it because I was so afraid of it. You know, the fear just amplified it. Well, I don't know. So anyway, she opens the door at the camp. Um, while well, we're camping on the island and all the mosquitoes just rush in and I'm like oh my god I cover my ears and this is still when the fucking fear really freaked me out I used to just cover my ears like this when a mosquito or fly would be in the room like I would just sit like this until I could fucking find it and kill it it really messed me up like I really thought I was going fucking crazy man oh god terrifying terrifying experience I really hope no one ever has to experience a bug in their ear because for two days like the first day is whatever but the second day oh my god trying to sleep and knowing there's something in your ear it, I don't even know if there was anything that's the thing because I never I, it just disappeared one day I god forbid whatever the fuck it was I I, uh, I don't I don't know <laughs> but anyway um yeah so the mosquitoes just rush in and they just hit me and bite me and attack me from all directions. They just like I the sunlight, the, the the sunlight. Literally, they just fly in from all directions. And the moonlight, man, the moonlight got blacked out by how many mosquitoes that were in the fucking sky. This I could see the moon getting blacked out because there were so many mosquitoes rushing in 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 because we were uh, there was grass everywhere, especially right next to the water we're right near the water there's gonna be a, if you're near the water and there's grass there's gonna be a ton of mosquitoes because mosquitoes fester off, off water and grass those are the two favorite fucking things and it's like rain all the time that's what it, it doesn't rain all the time but it's like rain I, like, I feel like that that climate is perfect for them that and rainforests because rainforests are very um you know, have a ton of condensation and moisture but um, yeah, it was really it was really sad, and I hated that. And I, I just yeah. And eventually, it took me 20 minutes. They were just dying laughing in the tent. Uh, uh, the uh, the people who took us on the trip, they just died. I was just that's all they heard all night. Just clapping every night, or uh, just clapping all night, and. Never mind. And I would just fucking say that. I knew they were listening. I was trying to be fucking cocky. I was trying to be smart. I was trying to show off a little bit. And get them to laugh. But at the same time, I actually wasn't killing them. So yeah, that was fun. Shit. I'm not a big fan of chicken nuggets, man. At least the freeze ones. <coughs> I'm digging it. Yeah, I'll show you. Let me just clean this off real quick. 48 of them now, I think. Of these little tissues. These base, you just, you know, you just wipe it down, and then you're good. It's on a microfiber cloth, but it's pretty soft. Like, it's just like a tissue paper almost. But softer. Softer and, and uh, Less abrasive. My favorite tissue paper is, is, I feel like it's slightly abrasive. This is very soft. It is tissue paper, exactly. But it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like, like it's, it's, just, it's very soft. It's very soft. Much more softer than your usual tissue paper, I feel like. Or it could just be how thin it is. It's messing me up. But, um, you do want to use spray in conjunction with this. Obviously, I don't got any spray, so. But you know what? I'll be good. Oh, 
mother, Jamie. Jamie just graduated, so she's uh she's eating dinner right now. We're just chilling. We need her to always FaceTime every day, all day. That's just what we do. Ish. What time is it nine? Oh, it's 7:50. I got an Ark Survival downloading, so that should be good. But man, I just can't wait till I upgrade my computer. Try and pump like at least two grand in that bitch. Two, two and a half to three grand in it, and uh, just be set for a couple years. It'll be set for like five. It, it, that computer will be set, and then I'm just gonna build new computers after that. That's just gonna be my. Why well, make a small machine? Like I get it, you know, if you don't have the money for it, but just save up, save the money to make a good ass computer for. Like the graphics card alone, I'm gonna buy an RTX 2080 Super, and by then, the, by the by the next like in in the next few uh, over the course of this year when I build this computer, it's gonna be very good. SpongeBob is gay. Well, well, well. I get it, man. Everyone wants to. A lot of shows want to cater towards the LGBTQ plus audience. But like, why, why, why does everything have to? First, it started with Harry Potter. That's and like, I get it. You know, people can do whatever they want to their shows. If they think they're gay, they're gay. The, uh, the create the uh, if they think the character should be gay then the character should be gay. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but like it almost feels forced to me. Like why why are so many things so many characters coming out as gay all of a sudden? Like sure you could say it just wasn't accepted then. So the the authors didn't wanna explain their like that, that they were gay. But like I don't know man. It just seems to me a little forced. I know I'm not the only one that thinks about that. Like um the whole you have to add, like, it's good to know. It's good to know those things because the people that are those LGBTQ plus, um, you know, they didn't choose to be that way. They might not even want to be that way for a little bit, but, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta accept it. You can't fucking hate it. Like, oh, man. Probably the boringest freaking day I've ever had when it comes to photography. Photography. But I was at, um, I was at, I was at this park, and there were these incredibly, incredibly beautiful geese there, and they didn't, they, they probably let me get within, I don't know, three feet, and I got to photograph them and all that, it was really sick, it was fucked my ugly ass flies in here, but it was, it was really fun, and yeah, they were actually so chill, I was really surprised. I'm so, so I woke up literally like 30 minutes ago, so I've just been a little tired. Took a cold three-minute shower. Felt real good. I've been cold showering every day, man. Almost every day. I mean, I have a warm shower now, but I, for almost a month, for about a month, I just cold showered. Nothing but cold showered. I mean, I had I had I had, I had two to three times where I put warm water on, but I always finish with cold. The warm water only lasted for like a good solid 15 seconds because I just hate it, dry my skin out. Um, but man, honestly, it has some good benefits. It's annoying, but I mean, even even today, I still hate it, and I'm, I feel so used to it at the same time. But once you're cold, everything else is just so easy. But once you're once you're trying to first start off, like no, I don't mean the first time. I mean every time. It just you just don't want to do it sometimes. You just oh fuck man, but it, it's just a mental game. Like once you get past that mental block of, of of not caring, then it then it really becomes easy. Actually, you know, fuck, I'm gonna take a walk. I'm putting my long lens on just so I can fucking do my shit. Cause I'm trying to miss any shots again. Also, I was thinking about investing in a macro lens because I feel like you know that'd be, just be sick. Like what you see oh, and a full frame. Looks like a fucking job. This is a crop sensor. So this is at 18 millimeters, and I think with a crop sensor it'd be at 28 millimeters. Which is a pretty big difference. He's chilling. See, I can get close to him, man, but he's not gonna let me. Anyway, I just wanna say I'm fucking thankful for everything. I'm gonna get a job. I'm going to build up my computer. I'm gonna save money so I can fly out to Jamie, and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna live life. You know, take up the acting. Once this whole COVID thing goes away, I can just go to fucking school, and it'll be great. It'll be really great. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go now. I'm thankful for Jamie. I'm thankful to live in a country that isn't ridden by war. 
I'm also thankful to live in a country that isn't filled with police brutality, but it's still just as fucked up as so many other ways, man. The whole situation that's going on is just, it's just so fucking terrible. I mean, like, why, man? Why, why is this still allowed to go on for years? Like, I swear it's been like a hundred years. And it, well, I, I know it's been a lot longer. It's been like a hundred years since the last, uh, probably not even a hundred, man. See, it feels so long ago. The last huge racial, just outrage. And yeah, I want to say this is what changes it, but like, I'm sure they thought that this was gonna that 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 the protests and the raging and the and the pro and the just the the large amount of uproar and uprising against all these stupid racial prejudices was going to change in the 70s or. 50s whenever that happened I honestly don't remember because it feels like it's so long ago and I need to do my history on that let's, let's look it up yeah so the whole civil rights movement like it was in the 50s and it, it just I said a hundred years <laughs> it honestly just feels like it happened so long ago and it feels like it should not be around racism should not be around but racism is always going to exist it's not just going away and yeah like to change to stop racism you have to be able to be able to change people's beliefs which is never going to happen like people can't change my belief just as much as they can't change fucking like I can't change your belief about some things you can't change other people's belief about some things that's the same goes for racism you cannot change those people's belief if they have their mindset on whatever that case is they're gonna have it um like that for a while I mean obviously people change but when they're surrounded by the same environment that accepts accepts them who's gonna who's gonna make them change really the only person that can make them change at that point is themselves but they're so blind to the cause that they're just they're gonna be stuck in a loop of being racist and being not just ra not just racism in general, just just hateful or whatever the case is, bandwagons, like whatever the whole trend is. When you're surrounded in that environment that breathes, breathes, sleeps, and eats, talks, speaks the same way that you do, thinks the same way that you do, it's very hard to change your mindset. Very hard. I realized that in grade nine to ten. I used to hang out with these guys, and. Uh, they were, they were pretty rowdy, and I, I even I even developed, like, uh, it was almost like I was talking like them. I, I really, like, I, I the slang, the whole, uh, I, I just really thought I was fucking top shit uh, when I hung out with them. And I was just like, man. Oh, in grade 11, I was just like, what? Like, near the end of grade 10, I was just like, what am I doing? And, uh, actually, you know, it was like near the middle of grade 10, because it happened in the beginning, really. And it was just pointless. Like, you, you really realize... How your environment engulfs you in in what you surround yourself with. Like if you if you surround yourself with negative energy, you're gonna get ne negative energy. Every, you're gonna get negative energy coming out from you. The same thing applies to same thing with positive energy, but the same thing also applies with what you're talking about and with what your interests are, what your combined interests are, because it's very hard to change your whole community and you think the same so yeah dude i wish i wish i wish i could stream God, if i could stream that'd be great there'd be so much i could just have fun with and just i could just game out we could talk about some shit but my internet is just god awful like it, it, every three seconds it cuts out and i have full signal I have, I'm, I'm not sure what it is so my only question my only uh answer that would have to be a network adapter issue and I have two network adapters like I got a second one and then the same issue arose so I don't know if it's the computer at this point I feel like it's the Wi-Fi like it, ha it has a really bad issue with cutting out for everyone even on my phone but like I seem to be the only one that it cuts out every three seconds for so I really am not it's really weird really weird situation bro let's go let's go do this I'm gonna go back home soon because you know not much to do here 
Play stay there. No, you just don't want to accept it, but you got to. What are you doing? Go back out there. Socialize. Cake time. Turn around. Let me see that ass, girl. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Cake time. This slip knot. So you pull this, and the whole tarp, or the whole section that's connected to this falls apart. Now, as for the top of this, because don't remember, remember it has to stay up. This is connected to what's called a ridge line, and these are prusik knots. So, cool thing about this is you can pull on it. This is what ribs, because I pulled on it too tight on that side. Basically, you can slide it, um, and it applies pressure. It's it's in very tight right now, so it's not going to go anywhere for the most part. But what happens on different rope? This is poly rope. This rope is very bad. You do not get it. It's not your conventional rope. It has this like styrofoam in the middle. It's not styrofoam. I guess it's poly material. But basically, where's the sound? Yeah, um, that's because this little guy pulled out my. <laughs> my uh, cable so there was no sound either that or I messed it up I'm not sure I feel like it was a bit of both anyway um, I just want to say if you guys like the video drop a like if you guys didn't like the video um, that's all right drop a dislike if you guys want to sub to me that'd be great uh, go ahead subscribe and um, yeah I think I'm gonna drop a patreon down so I can get your guys money I'm joking obviously I'm not gonna fucking have a patreon I give a fuck uh, maybe one day when I start streaming, we actually have things to fund. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, if you guys like the video, drop a like. My room's hella messy right now. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe if you want it. If you guys didn't like it, just like it. I'm Denzel. Peace.